Welcome back. Today's question is, are auto accident loans worth it? And before I go into that answer, I'll give a little bit of background about what an auto accident loan is. It's really not a loan. It is more of a cash advance against a future personal injury settlement or a judgment. So someone gets in a car accident, injured, and needs money for whatever reason. It could be uh, to pay bills, for food, rent, medical expense, pay, pay off credit cards. Uh, there's a variety of reasons. And so there are these uh, companies out there that will provide these cash advancements to people that are injured in auto accidents or injured uh, due to someone else's negligence. Doesn't need to be just car accidents. So there's usually a written contract between the company and the injured person. Uh, the injured person will request a certain amount uh, and then there will be some fees and interest attached to it and payment isn't due until the personal injury case is either settled or a judgment is obtained and it, payment is also contingent on successful resolution of the personal injury case so if you happen to get one of these loans or cash advancements uh, and then ultimately lose the case nothing is owed uh, to the lender. Uh, usually these lenders do some some homework uh, to make sure that in all likelihood there are going to be some funds but um, they are contingent on successful resolution of the case. Uh, let me give a little sample uh, from a recent case. A client uh, got in a car accident, sustained injuries, a few months later needed uh, some cash so she applied for a $500 cash advance with one of these companies. Uh, so she gets $500 in her pocket, uh, but there's a delivery fee. Uh, I don't know, really know what goes into that fee, but they call it a delivery fee, $225. So right off the bat, the client owes $725 back to the lender on a $500 cash advance. That's what was in her pocket. Uh, and then there's the interest. interest on these advances is pretty outrageous. Uh, you look at a credit card, credit cards usually go up around 20-25% APR. Uh, some of these cash advances for personal injury cases are 100% APR or even greater. Uh, so in the sample case, uh, I'm not sure the exact APR, uh, but there was a table of what payments would be at certain points in time. Uh, Three months after the cash advance, uh, the client was going to owe about $843 total back to the company. Uh, 12 months after was about $1,000. Uh, 24 months, uh, I think about $1,500. And then 36 months, it was $2,200. Uh, so in the $2,200, that was the max amount. So if it went Beyond that, for settlement or judgment, uh, the max amount was going to be $2,200. So, you know, on a $500 cash advance, if you go the max period, that's what about $1,700 in fees and interest uh, that you're paying. Uh, that could ultimately be money in your pocket if you wouldn't have taken uh, the cash advance. So, in that case, uh, I think client. It was, I think it was five months after the auto accident, the client got the $500. Uh, this happened to be a case where the client was uh, treating for quite a while after the auto accident, several years, so we weren't able to settle this case right away. We had to file a lawsuit uh, because the statute of limitation came up, so that's you know, two years after the auto accident. Uh, proceed with litigation, do discovery, depositions, and I, Ultimately, the case settled at a mediation that was about two years after she took the actual uh, cash advance. Uh, ended up paying about $1,700 back, so on a $500 cash advance, uh, she paid $1,200 in fees and interest, which could have been you know, money in her pocket if she hadn't taken that cash advance. Uh, so the answer to the question, are these cash advances worth it? You know, normally, I advise clients against getting them just because of the fees and the interest. Uh, I understand uh, everyone's circumstances are unique. Uh, yeah, someone 
may really be hard pressed for that cash. You need it for whatever expenses. Um, so sometimes it's just unavoidable, but in general, uh, I recommend clients try to avoid them.